What you're about to see is an excerpt from the Fronos Photo Guide to building your online presence. Now, if you'd like to watch the full version for free, head on over to fronosphoto.com branding. But for now, enjoy this excerpt. The first thing you have to decide is what platform are you gonna build your website on? There's a lot of free platforms out there as well as pay platforms. I personally use Squarespace, like I said, because it's affordable and an easy solution to use, but there are free ones out there like Wix and WordPress. Now, let me just say that WordPress is free. But if you're not a coder and you don't know where to get server access and how to work FTPs and how to do all of the back end stuff, that free is gonna take up a lot of extra time because as a creative, your time is very important. So if you can pick a platform that is easy to use, that you can control yourself, that takes care of all of the mundane stuff that you don't wanna learn how to do, then you're gonna be better off when you do that. So again, there's a lot of free platforms, there's pay platforms, you can hire somebody to do it if you really wanna spend the money, you could direct them on what you want on the site, but I feel it's better to take control of it yourself. So you've picked your platform and the rest is determined by what type of creative are you? Are you a photographer, a videographer, a musician? Are you uh, somebody who has a store because you want to do an e-commerce site? Or are you just somebody who maybe you're a model and you just need a place to call your home? You have to decide which type of creative you are to determine what type of platform you go with and which direction you're going to go. But really, it's all pretty similar no matter what you are, whether you're creating a site because you're a, a creative, like a photographer or a videographer, or you're trying to sell something online. This guide is gonna help you do that. But with that said, you need to figure out your URL. How are you gonna decide on a name or what to purchase? I still recommend finding the .com more than .org and .net and all of those other high-level domain names that are now for sale. It's just, there's something about the lexicon where you think .com before you think anything else. So if you're gonna pick up Squarespace for a year, they give you a free domain name for free when you sign up for a year. I can sign up on another website. You've got, you've got Bluehost and you've got aplus.net. I think Amazon does it where you can, uh, or GoDaddy, all of those different places are just places to purchase the, the rights to use a domain name. So you go on there, you search for your domain name. If it's available, you purchase it. That should be one of the first things that you do is determine what is the website's name and what are you going to use. So that can range anywhere from $2.99 if you buy other things, or generally speaking, I've found that the reputable places Places are $12.99. Uh, you can purchase it through Squarespace, like I said, but I've owned mine since, uh, geez, since I was just out of high school. And I keep paying for it year after year after year because it's, it's, it's my domain name. Make sure you're protecting it. So here's some good rules of thumb is that when you're doing it, set up auto renew so that if you forget to pay for it, you don't have to do it every single year or you could buy multiple years at once right at the beginning and you could also put on domain lock, which means that accidentally it's not gonna be taken by somebody else. Don't know how that would happen, but do everything that you can do to protect yourself because this is your space. This is your website and you wanna make sure that nothing happens to it. The next thing you wanna think about is design. Now you're gonna see me use Squarespace uh, and their templates as examples. Now of course, outside you can buy WordPress templates like I've said before or get custom made things, but for, for the educational part of this, we're gonna stick inside of the Squarespace universe because that's what I'm comfortable with and that's what I really like. But you have to figure out what features, what, what things you wanna have on your site to help you determine what type of template and direction you're going to pick. Now, you may not want a very text-based website if you're gonna be, uh, uh, or sorry, a text-based template if you're going to be doing a very video or photo-centric website. You have to think about that. Or you don't wanna have a store, an e-commerce store, that's hard to find everything because it doesn't scream e-commerce. So that's why I'm using Squarespace to pick different templates because they have the photography-related ones. They have the, uh, the templates for if you're gonna do a store. There's a whole bunch of different examples and I think we should just roll into that so I can show you the different examples that they have there and you can decide for you which direction you'd like to go for a template. So whatever you use, just stick with it, learn it. You could even do raw HTML. It's just gonna take you a long time to get there and I, and I think that rolls us into uh, talking about how to pick your template. 
Let's dive into selecting the right template. Now, when you're picking a template, it's all going to be based on what type of site you have. So what we're going to do right now is dive in here to the computer to see a bunch of templates that Squarespace offers you. I'll show you my website to show you what template I'm using, but they've made this really easy for you, and that's what matters. You can see all the templates. You can click and see what they have just for business. Portfolios is for somebody that's going to be a, a photographer. That is a great template. You click here. It says portfolio, and you can see the different options that you have. Now, let's take a quick look at what I have. I am using the Momentum one. So for anybody that's wondering what I'm using, my website currently is using Momentum. I've used uh, Wells in the past. Those are just the names of them on Squarespace, but you can see different options. Do you want to have it side scrolling? Do you want to have full screen images? Do you want to have the, the, the text and menus on the left hand side, the bottom or the top? These are things that we're going to dive in deeper as we get through uh, in further into the sections. But right now we're talking about templates. Now, if you're going to do a business site, you can see the differences uh, with the templates that they offer. And, and the same thing holds true for all the different sites out there. WordPress, you can search uh, for WordPress templates that you can purchase and then go ahead and modify them for yourself. But again, that's going to take a little longer than just diving in here and using Squarespace. But you, you can see that you've got things for blogs. If you're going to be a blogger, if you're starting a site where you have YouTube type videos and you want to embed them in there, you can pick something like this. Uh, what we keep going musicians if you're a musician they already have templates ready to go that it's going to help showcase your audio showcase your videos it's just already done for you and and, and see look as a creative we want to spend our time creating actually getting paid or getting out there to do what we love that if you can quickly create what you want to create on a website building platform like this then it's going to save you time so that you can go out and do what you want to do. I, in the past, I've paid thousands of dollars for websites, but I haven't been happy with them because every time I want to make a change, I have to call somebody and wait and then get a bill, and it's still not what I want. So for me to be able to take control of my own space, no matter where it is, is really super important. Now, if you look up here, you also have online stores. If you're doing e-commerce, you have the ability to do that right here. If you're doing e-commerce and that's really part of your main focus, you could look at Squarespace, you can look at Shopify, you can look at um, Big Cartel. There are so many different options out there, but if you do select one, I highly recommend that you make sure it's easy for you to do yourself unless you have a large team of people to have do it uh, for you. Now at that point you're probably paying them more to do it, but I'm just a big fan of finding one of these templates that work uh, and really that's, that's what matters there. And, and the cool thing that, uh, about Squarespace is if I want to make a change to the template, I can select it to see what my content would look like before I hit save. That's really important to me. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look through my site just real quick to give you why I'm using the template that I'm using. All right, so here we are. We've jumped onto my site real quick, and you can see something. This front thing that we're looking at right now, yes, it says enter me. That's what I put there for my website to say. You're probably not going to have something like that. I just like messing around on my own site to put weird things there. You could say enter here, uh, see more photos, see some video, hear our music. Different things can go right here. So you can see my enter me right here. Uh, but I, I wanted to remind you guys of one other thing. If you just want to have a cover page, a cover page is what you just saw on my website. A cover page you can pick up on Squarespace. It's at least a place that you can call your own and you can do functioning cover pages. Just look at the different examples that you have. So you can see the different cover pages that they have right here for you to choose. But again, this is my cover page but I want to dive into the cover page and the home page a little more. So let's hit enter me and go on to the next part. So I hope you enjoyed that excerpt from the Frontos Photo Guide to Building Your Online Presence. Now, if you'd like to watch the entire guide for free, head on over to fronosphoto.com branding where you can download the entire guide.